And the first point to overcoming and really taking charge in my mind is information, is becoming informed. So the first part of the talk, I'm going to talk about the bone health basics, really just the, the key points on understanding the nature of osteoporosis, the causes, the true causes that we see them now in the best prevention and treatment. And those of you that followed my work have known, I, I, read, I wrote a book on this, which was called Better Bones, Better Body. Um, and then I wrote the uh, Acid Alpha Food Guide. So there's a lot of information there, and there's a lot of information on our website, betterbones.com. So if you get like lost in this, don't worry. Just whatever, whatever adheres to your mind, just use that little fact, and then there's a lot on the website. Our Better Bones program is very similar to what the Surgeon General said you should do. So it's not anything. It's not anything. Extremely unusual, what we say is the, the Surgeon General in 2004 did a report on osteoporosis and he said, here's how you should treat. He's telling the doctors of the country. First, nutrition lifestyle changes. Nutrition, physical activity, fall prevention. We're going to see fall prevention. He said, do this first. This is the base. Then, look for secondary causes. At the Center for Better Bones, when we see people who aren't doing well, we always send them back to their doctor to get a workup for why. Your bones were meant to last a lifetime. We started a bone health revolution that you'll see on our website, and I think we'll get to show our website a bit. And one of the first parts of the manifesto is bones were meant to last a lifetime. And if they're not lasting a lifetime, is something's wrong. One of the things we often think about, one of the components of bone on a more smaller level are these protein ropes upon which mineral crystals sit. These are calcium phosphorus crystals. So it's really like a it's really like a sponge made of protein upon which minerals sit. Okay? And one of the things I'm going to show you is an easy way to find out if you're losing bone right now is to test and see how much of this protein sponge shows up in the urine. Because when you lose bone, both minerals come off, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, mostly calcium, and this protein. So there's a simple test that they can detect in the urine how much bone protein you're losing. It's called the NTX bone resorption marker. We use it all the time. If you want to know, am I losing bone right now at this minute? I'll show you both. What about green smoothies, which I do all the time, spinach, kale, with fruits, with garlic? You know, that's a really interesting question because several of my clients say they like green smoothies. They like actually to take kale and blend it up. What else do you put in there? Do you put it in? Uh, generally, it's 16 fruit for me. Vegetable. 60 fruit to 40 vegetables. Okay. This morning I had spinach, garlic, frozen mango, banana. Um, I threw in a little chopped up so you, and carrot. So you have you have 60 fruit to 40 vegetables. So it's not it's not so concentrated in vegetables. So it probably tastes pretty good. Tastes pretty good. We know we're getting a lot of alkalizing fruits and vegetables. So our question is, tastes good. You can do it. Does it give you gas or bloating? That's the thing. Prior to this time, I used to have horrible heartburn and gas. Since I have gone, I'm really eating healthy, otherwise also, with this, I don't know. Go ahead, you're set? Um, what about strontium, though? Well, that's a really interesting question, because strontium, there's a lot of confusion around strontium. There's dietary strontium, where you maybe you have 10, 15 milligrams from the water, from the food. That is good, it's been shown to be good for bone. It's so good for bone, that little bit, that they developed a drug made of strontium. That drug of strontium is very high dose, maybe 750 milligrams. That is totally unnatural, but it's a drug therapy, and it does seem to be effective at halting bone loss and actually building a little bit of new bone mass. In my book, if you have to use a drug, uh, strontium is the best one. So strontium is not just a vitamin or mineral, it's all. That's what I thought. That's the important difference. Strontium is a mineral, small dose strontium we get in the diet. You may find in a good multivitamin, 10, 20 milligrams of strontium, but when you get into high dose strontium, it's being used as a drug, and it's it's being used in a pharmacological dose. In the U.S., we do not have the drug strontium because it's, it's not allowed. The phosphonates are stronger; they reduce by 30 to 50 percent. For lots of them, it's much smaller, only for the very few drugs affect the hip. So if you're thinking about the hip, just for the spine, calcitonin is quite weak. Calcium and vitamin D. 20 to 50 percent. In other words, there's a lot of things that can work naturally. 
Just to say, in Norway, they don't even give the osteoporosis drugs unless the person is fractured. Again, the government that socialized pays attention to who gets drugs thinks about it. Test for, be sure to test for success. Your bone mineral density, the bone breakdown test. If you're losing muscle, you know you're losing bone. If you're losing height, more than an inch and a half, probably you're losing bone. So that's our natural program. We have some, I'm not going to go into the case studies and stuff, but um, let 